This is a tutorial on how to generate tomograms from tilt series that do not have fiducial markers, so do not have gold fiducials. Um, this tutorial uh, uses eTomo, which is part of the iMod software suite. You can either, if you have an eTomo shortcut on the desktop, you can double click on it, or you can simply from the folder where you have your data, so this is the raw data here, that's one axis and then the other axis of 0 and 90 degrees tilt. And from this folder, you can shift right click and then open a PowerShell window and then type eTomo and then it will only see the files that are in, inside this folder. So now eTomo is open. First of all, always check that in the settings you have either parallel processing or um, graphics processing enabled. Uh, it depends whichever one you use. Um, you should use depends on your computer really whether you've got more cores um, and if you haven't got these ones ticked then you need to tick them click on apply and then restart e timer before um, starting to process your tilt series so now I'm going to close and click on build tomogram so I will select the plastic section template because these are plastic sections click on the raw data, select one of the two files and then click open. It should be set to dual axis single frame. That's what that's the type of data we've got here. Scan the header and then set the fiducials to zero. It hasn't got any gold fiducials in this case. If you're not sure whether the, the data is good, you can always view the raw image stacks first and then exclude any views that you think are not good enough for um, for the tomogram. So then if everything's fine, you just click on create com scripts and then it should create a, a window like this for the A axis. And then you click on both and it'll open another window a bit smaller for the B axis. So in this, in this folder here where your data was originally, you will see that it almost started to create a lot of little files. And there's also a log a file in here. Okay, so let's start processing these tomograms. Uh, in this, these two windows here, Itomo will follow a sequence of tomogram processing steps. So starting from the first step, pre-processing. So if you click on pre-processing for both A and B axes, and you click on find x-rays for both axes. Um, you can either process the A axis first and then the B, I tend to process them together. So it's now telling you here how far it's gone. Um, to doing one task and when the task is finished it says done. So this task of uh, finding x-rays is done. So once you've um, found the x-rays then you create a fixed stack and then again it will tell you how far it's gone through the task and then when it's finished done doing this task it will say done. So then you click on use fixed stack for both of them and then done. And now move on to calculate the cross correlation. And generate course align stack. Okay, let's have a look at the align stacks to see if they're okay. So when you click these buttons view, it just opens 3D mod and then you can see on 3D mod whether the align stacks look okay. So this one looks fine. And then this one here also looks fine. And then you can close 3D mod and just click done for this step. So we, we then move on to the fiducial model generation. We do not have gold fiducial, so we can't use make and seed. I'm um, sorry, make seed and track. So we use patch tracking. 
and here patch tracking again. So for the patches, because this is um, this is plastic sections, you should use something up to 200 uh, patches of up to 200 uh, pixels. So I'm going to say 190, 190 for both of them. Use a boundary model. I always create a boundary model. When you create the boundary model, it's important to exclude areas that do not have much information, so areas such as empty resin. So you exclude that in the boundary model. Go to the model mode, and I also exclude the edges of the tomogram because they tend to not be quite the same on both A and B, so I tend to exclude those areas as well. So I'm going to make a model excluding areas that um, don't have a lot of information. So I've made the model for the A axis. Now if I close 3D mod it will say save model before quitting and you say yes. And then I'm going to create the boundary model for the uh, B axis. go to track patches and track patches here as well. So now it's finished um, tracking patches and we can click done on this axis. And then after that click on compute alignment for this axis and now it's done on the B axis as well we can click on done and compute alignment for the B axis so once it's done with computing the alignment you click on view and edit fiducia model and you should check a few things on the fiducia model so go to the model mode and it will open the model view automatically and you should turn the model around and have a general look to see if there are any points that are basically not aligned properly. So all the points should be represented in a nice sort of smooth curved line. If you zoom in these lines should be fairly straight. These ones are fairly straight. They could be straighter, but it's still good data. If there are points that don't go, don't follow this, this path, you can select these points and then delete just these specific points. I'm not going to delete anything here. If you see that there are sort of kinks on all of the, um, on all of the lines, but just sort of at the end, at, at one extremity of the line, it means you maybe have an outlier image on your tilt series. So you might have to remove that image, exclude that view from the alignment. Uh, this alignment here looks good. So I'm going to close this one and then check the um, fiducial model for the other axis. On the movie mode, make the movie play and none of these points should be jumping really they should all be only like wriggling a tiny little bit and that's an indication that the um, the fiducia model is good aside from the model mode so so everything looks good on this side and then you click on done and then done again so when it comes to the um, create sample tomogram uh, a window then you can find the boundary model automatically although I haven't got a lot of experience with this one I heard that it doesn't work terribly well what I usually do is I create a sample tomogram of a thickness of about four to five hundred it really depends on how straight your tomogram is and you'll see what I mean uh, in a minute but if you go for something like 500 let's see if we can find our tomogram within this region if your tomogram is not fully within this region 
you can click on use whole tomogram and then you you definitely find it so that you can create the sample tomograms make a boundary model uh, so I'm going to click on create sample tomogram for the A axis okay so now it says done let's see if we can create the boundary model using this tomogram now what you need to do is you need to make six contours um, two on each of these um, sample tomogram views so I'm going to create one and then another one you don't have to go all the way to the edge because it it seems that um, itaimo continues to the edge if you just create you know a line in the middle so once I've done this one then I move to the next one by clicking on the arrow so now I've got another view of the tomogram and then I create some lines delimiting the boundaries of my tomogram and then again in here And if you're not happy with the position of a line um, or, the, or a point in the line then you can right click on it and then use the mouse wheel to reposition it so I'm repositioning here just for the sake of illustration yeah okay so now I've created six contours with two points each and I'm going to close and save the boundary model I increase the border thickness a bit and then for the A axis, you can click on Compute, Z, Shift and Pitch Angles. So let's create a sample tomogram. OK, now let's create a boundary model for the B axis. And then I'll save the model and compute set shift and pitch angles for this one as well and then create final alignment for both of them and now done and done again and then simply create full align stack so create full align stack Okay, now it's done. Let's have a quick look at the full align stack. See if we're happy with it, and you can just make make it move. Seems okay. And then done and done. And now we will generate the tomogram. I think in my options here, let me see what I've got. I've got enable graphics processing, so, I, so I'm going to click on use GPU with the maximum number of GPUs um, and see how it goes. So generate tomogram and then you can do, we can do the same with the B axis. So now tomogram generation is finished for each of the axes. Let's view the tomograms in 3D mod. It's important to view both tomograms in 3D mod. For axis A, make a note of the Z sections that contain information, as this will be important in the next step. Both tomograms will have some stretching, but of course this will disappear when the tomograms are combined into a single dual axis tomogram. So now delete intermediate stacks and click on done. Of course at this point when you click done you've done everything you could do with the axis B and you can just close that axis and then the, the processing continues with tomogram combination just on the window that was originally axis A. Okay. So now we're going to do tomogram combination so match B to A, um, use image, image correlations instead of sov match for the initial match and what I've been using successfully is the automatic patch fitting as well so I would say 
large patches. We can start with that. In the Z minimum I will put 38 and then 198 which is what I determined when um, when I looked at the A tomogram. So remember it's going to match B to A and then you create combine scripts okay then go to final match to the vol combine parameters and input a number one here so the radius be, uh, below which to average components from both tomograms 0 0.01 okay this uh, tab here will only be available when you create the combine scripts so once you create combined scripts um, and then you've changed that little parameter I mentioned, then you can start combine and this will combine the two tomograms successfully, hopefully. Okay, so I'm going to start combine and, and this should take a while. Okay, so it looks like it's done. Let's open the combined volume and have a better look. Okay, so now we've got our tomogram. It looks good. I'm already going to look now at what sections actually have information, so I would say yeah, 40 to 210 I would say have information, so just keep that number in mind, 40 to 210, and then when we trim the tomogram we can trim to that. So let's close it here, and then you, um, you go to done, click on done. This is the trimming options, so I know that I want, in here I want 40 to 210. If you don't know yet, you can also open the, the 3D mod full volume and then get the uh, Y, X, Y and Z volume from 3D mod. this hopefully when I trim it this will give me that trimmed volume um, the trim, trimmed volume I have here in 3d mod and then rotate around the x-axis untick convert to bytes and then just click on trim volume trimmed you can open the trimmed volume in 3d mod okay so now I've got my trimmed volume we can have a look at it it looks okay then you click done and now just select all of these intermediate files and you can say delete selected and then you click done all of the steps of tomogram generation have finished so now you can move on if you have a series of tomograms you can then move on to joining serial tomograms <laughs>